Well, John, a 1-0 defeat here to Bath City at Twerton Park this evening. What's your initial post-match thoughts on that one? Obviously, disappointment. Um, should come away with a, at least a draw. Um, although we haven't uh, performed at our best, um, we have created the better chances. And uh, obviously, at the end, uh, we should have scored. And uh, so, disappointing. Uh, but all we can do is... Um, hopefully learn from it and, uh, and move on. Does it frustrate you that the one really good chance that they had, they took, and perhaps we didn't take ours? Well, the frustrating part was it was poor defending. Um, it, sh it should never have got in. Uh, we've got two defenders against one, and uh, yeah, it shouldn't happen. So that, that that is something that obviously we've got to learn from. Um, but we did create uh, one or two chances. Um, Tyler had a good chance and obviously Connor's at the end. Their goalkeeper was awarded the sponsors man of the match here. Does, does that tell a story perhaps? Yeah, yeah. As I say, we weren't great. You can't say that, you know, we, we dominated the game by any means. Um, but uh, they often puffed without really creating any chances. And uh, obviously the longer the game went on, uh, we started to get more, more pressure on pressure on their back four and uh, but couldn't capitalise. We perhaps didn't start great, but grew into the game, then conceded the goal at perhaps the wrong time, just before the break. And then after half time, we, we found it difficult to wrestle the momentum away from them, didn't we? Yeah, until we changed it again. I think once we changed it, then uh, then obviously we started to get a bit of momentum uh, and, and opened them up a couple of times. But uh, no, it's... Uh, it's made it hard for ourselves by uh, conceding that goal just before half time when obviously we should should make sure that we go in at nil nil it's a tough place to come not many teams get anything here is it encouraging though even in defeat to come here and as you say not play well but but nearly come away with one and maybe on another day three points it's well it's not encouraging because you you want to get a result so um i think uh, you know when you come here and, and have the chances that we had and, you know, limited them to, I think, one chance and it might have had one setting off. But, but now we, uh, we've got to do better. Um, so uh, we've got a good opportunity, obviously, at home. Um, and we've got to make sure that home record stays intact, apart from obviously the first game of the season. Uh, and if we can win our home games, as I said all along, then, uh, you know, it'll put us in a good position come the end of the season. You've been used to winning. We'll now prepare for a game on Saturday after a defeat. Will that alter your pre preparations in any way? Obviously, you look at things. Uh, it gives other lads an opportunity um, that if uh, if you keep winning, um, then those opportunities wouldn't rise for, for other players. So, uh, but the players know that there's competition for places now, and and it opens up opens it up for other people. Just finally, a mention of the supporters, another healthy contingent. It's a long way to Bath on a Tuesday night. You must have been uh, heartened to see their support and the way they stuck with the team right to the end. Yeah, that's one thing since being at the football club. The supporters really, really get behind the players and uh, they're always encouraging. Uh, I've not heard anybody really getting on to, to players. And, you know, that's because we've got to be all as one if we want to try and achieve something. And the players and the supporters play their part. And uh, again, on Saturday, we've got to make sure we give them something to cheer about. Well, John, commiserations tonight, but thanks for your time. Cheers, Gareth. Thank you.